these rappers started from the bottom and made it big all on their own. Hit it all between and beneath every fragmented figure of speech. Tongue in reverse whenever the beat causes my jaws to call. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 independent rappers. I'd rather be up in the mansion for the promo sale, but I'm here stuck inside my thoughts. For this list, we'll be taking a look at rappers and MCs who found most of their fame independently. Just to get by, just to get by. They may have made their name with impressive record sales, incredible stage shows, or just a unique style that earned them critical acclaim. Regardless of how they achieved success, including if they spent time on a major label, these are the rappers who did it their own way, and we're basing our choices on a mix of their song quality, credibility, and talent. Strange days, when your favorite rapper's popping, but is he on top of something you can't gauge? We've excluded Macklemore because, even though he's still indie, his massive mainstream success makes him an inappropriate fit for this list. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. <laughs> Number 10, R.A. The Rugged Man. Yo, yo, don't get me started. I'm golden era 88, baby, highly regarded. I get stupid, dookie doodle, deaf, dumb, retarded. Watch you fade like a high top when I drop. Leave you flattened like a pancake at IHOP. With Name just about any famous rapper, and you'll likely be able to find ties to R.A. The Rugged Man. He's the Kevin Bacon of the rap game. Everyone is connected to him. Despite just two official full-length releases over his 20-plus year career. Spit at the cops, I'm resisting arrest. They want to see me fry like a chicken wing in the press. The truth is behind closed doors, I'm a bit of a sissy. Singing love ballads to bitches like Lionel Richie. No R.A. has built a reputation as one of the best independent performers around. Cutting your throat and opponent opposing, leaving your float in the ocean. You was a Leah rocking the boat and leaving He's worked with artists like Notorious B.I.G., the Wu-Tang Clan, Mob Deep and many other accomplished artists. And when you've been rapping since you were 12, it's no surprise to find out you've got some skills. Blessed are the poor in the spirit, yeah, I took it biblical, I'm so dangerous. It's one of the singles of my new record, Skeleton. Check it out. Number nine. Aesop Rock. Somebody in a cultivated moment of distress yes. composed themselves enough to artfully carve so so in his desk. Was... Think rapping is easy? Tell that to Aesop Rock. With a hell bound arm and an acidy wash, homemade curtain with a thousand o'clock and a pot leaf tattoo was rendered drunk. Like Arguably rap's finest wordsmith. The East Coast rapper is set to have the richest vocabulary in hip hop. And has also been compared to literary greats like Shakespeare and Herman Melville. He flashes his lyrical brilliance with off the wall metaphors and regular use of homonyms. Okay, woke to a grocery list, goes like this duty and death. Anyone object, come stand in a way you could be my little snake. Just a talented rapper, Aesop also flashes his production skills both on tracks for others and on his own. He's a prolific artist, both on the mic and in making beats, but the quantity doesn't dilute his quality. That's a good one. They always start off good. All right, let's try this. Number eight, Brother Ali. I don't beg nobody pardon to be confident. I'm just saying my shit didn't exist until I did it. I'm the one to suffer for the politics that I didn't spit. I ain't quit. I hit every continent and bodied it. There's no other rapper quite like Brother Ali. After gaining the attention of Rhyme Sayers Entertainment, Ali began appearing on his label mate's tracks, including working with Rhyme Sayers co-founder Slug's group Atmosphere. Ali won over audiences with his intense presence, which has carried over to his albums. Only two generations away from the world's most despicable slavery trade. He's never been afraid to speak his mind, even when sponsors backed away from him and cut his tour short. I ain't hating, I still wanna believe it, and I'm not trying to leave it, I just call it how I see it. Ali has built a strong following with strong sentiments through his politically charged, passion filled, self examining lyrics. Shots still ring out of blood, still spill. Murder, murder, kill, kill, kill. Death and destruction, and I'm a hero in my hometown, baby. Number seven. 
Action Bronson. Sit on my chest, shoot colors like a care bear. All year, see me tan, hopping out the van. For most of the artists on this list, rap is their primary passion. But rap came later for Action Bronson. I'd rather be up in the mansion for the promo sale, but I'm here, stuck inside my thoughts. He spent his life cultivating a reputation as an esteemed New York gourmet chef before leaving it behind for the rap game. Now Bronson cooks up lyrics instead of meals, though he's maintained his first love by regularly rapping about food. Light Caesar, no hype beaster, rock a nice sneaker. You get dressed for a good price, my price cheaper. His discography so far consists of two full-length records, two EPs, and four mixtapes, all of which make for some hearty listens. And he still has more on the way. We can't wait for the desserts. Just let me sharpen my knife, throw on the apron. X's mark the steak and the salad. They crumble with bacon and blue cheese Caramel milk complexions on two knees On two skis, carving up the ounces with this dude needs Number 6, Earl Sweatshirt Grab me, it's who have to spit blizzard It's actually flick cigarette ash and bitch Harassment, eight nickels, a hash, delay, quick. The internet is responsible for Earl Sweatshirt. After being discovered on MySpace by Tyler the Creator, the rapper producer dropped his first album for free through Odd Futures website. Party staff baffled, asking where her ass go. In my room, redefining the meaning of black holes. However, Earl's later music was almost prevented from reaching the masses. And it wasn't because of a lack of a major label. Instead, it was his own mother. Searching for a big brother, Tyler was that. Plus, he liked how I rap. The blunt and mice the trap. She sent him to a boarding school for troubled youths in Samoa. But Earl returned to the game and has since continued to make critically acclaimed music. Criminal stealth, welcome to enemy turf. Harder than immigrants work. Golf is just in my shirt. Get up off the pavement, brush the dirt up off my psyche. Psyche. Number five, Dead Prez. Sometimes it's better to have someone to share the stage with. If you take one to my word of advice to you is just relax. To do what you got to do. If that don't work, then kick the back. If you a fighter, ride it by the flame, ignite a crowded battle. For rappers M1 and Stickman. Acting as partners in crime has served them well. My homie got a 25 automatic added to the game. Get the phone book, look up in the yellow page. Let me tell you how we gonna get paid. Performing as the duo Dead Prez, these two MCs have built their audience through their confrontational style, both in the booth and on stage. They never shy away from talking about issues that matter to them, and they aren't afraid to back it with actions. Same folks selling us lies about Christmas, Santa Claus, and the Easter Bunny, just so the capitalists can make money. They say gotta take care of it, but you a terrorist if you say the same thing in Arabic. Regularly lighting money on fire or throwing health food into the crowd at their shows. Wait in the water, I'm following Miss Tubman in that turn. I'm praying for my freedom and headed for the border. Number four, Talib Kweli. We sell crack to our own out the back of our homes. We smell the musk of the dusk and the crack of the dawn. We Known nearly as much for his contributions as an activist as for his work as a rapper, Talib Kweli may be the best ambassador hip hop has. When you a man, action is what's expected. Nothing is spoken on. The boost that never got time for no excuses. You gotta go beyond my flow with time foolery. I smoke this poor rapper so fast. For this Brooklyn rapper, there is no differentiating between his music and his activism, and he regularly shares his views on society and politics in his lyrics. Even during his stint with Warner Brothers Records, Kweli used his platform to showcase underground artists, to elevate their profiles, and promote the positivity of hip hop culture. I don't care what people say, as long as you and me okay, cause I've never been in love before. Number three, MF Doom. The rest is up to an old brain, the governor, the best MC with no change you ever heard. Though he likes to position himself as hip hop's super villain, MF Doom is a hero to independent rap fans. Can't put shit past him, 
is on his own team, bad enough to blast him. Retarded in real life on the mic, Rain Man. Stand close to his main man like a chain gang. Known for his unorthodox, off-kilter flow, and a style that is nearly impossible to replicate, Doom doesn't quite fit into any of the common categorizations for rap. His solo albums are considered by many to be classics, but his collaborations with Mad Lib under the name Mad Villain. So nasty that it's probably somewhat of a travesty having me. Then he told the people you could call me your majesty. And Danger Mouse as Danger Doom. One guy tried to bite the heat. It's when he discovered the other, other white meat. Showcase his ability to work with others while still standing out as a solo act. Curses, he's truly the worst is with enough rhymes to spread throughout the boundless universes. Let the beat blast, he told her with a mask. He said, You bet your sweet ass. But I keep my fans fainting like clucks do. You don't like how we live. Number two. Tech 9. I dominate your conglomerate. What everything I can accommodate. It'll be a non-debate coming up against a Ron the Great. It seems like Tech 9 has always known that he wouldn't quite fit in with most rappers. That would explain why he started his own label and named it Strange Music. Or a dream telling me my story. I caught up my mother. But who answered my brother? He said she real sick, but I'm gonna put her on just tell her you love her. The Kansas City MC has been a standout thanks to his chopper rhyming style in which he raps at a breakneck pace. When I'm dead, I'ma get up in the head of the shit. Instead of picking a letter, then I went up like a predator. I'ma dead, I'ma let a puss skip the pizza. They know humble we Luna. You know what I'm saying? It's everything, you know? Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. Nobody sounds like that. This ability to deliver a clear message at high speeds has made him a unique rapper who is regularly featured on tracks with other indie sensations and mainstream artists who respect his ability. Some of the people appointed to give an opinion never do get it. I want you to come on and gobble a Jimmy and die. Need to be given the remedy and why critics are really the enemy and ah. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Y'all in the club, aimless, blind, spade shit. My time is space mix, record around on spaceships. You way behind like you caught a ride on a slave ship. Not far to the infinity time. We in disguise for y'all enemy line. Enemy line. And I just kill it every time. Every time. I'm like a bully that started out in the first grade. Taking out the chunks of class, that's when the nurse came. Sticking pencils in the hand of the principal. <laughs> There's nothing you can tell me because I'm feeling indispensable. These warehouse wages kill the ends. Introduction, man, I should have schooled it up when I was younger. Should have stuck the plan. 25 bucks, mama paid your hair. Sit on the board, share, do it on the stairs. Grew your hair out and you want to get it twisted. Fed us many nights. When I say hip hop, I don't mean the music, I mean the culture, not the vultures. Number one, immortal technique. Like sulfur fearless when I spit the flow, talk with my hands like Cicero. And it the king of the like underground rap scene, immortal technique has so built his own empire without a major record label behind him. He built a reputation because he could hustle and steal, but got locked once and didn't hesitate to squeal. Started After building a following as a battle rapper, he made the jump to music. Brothers the crack rock, working overtime, making money for the crack spot. Hit the jackpot. He's insisted that artists should fight to retain rights and creative freedom when it comes to their work. And he's embodied that belief. He said that the success of my music was theoretic, but my revenge is sweet enough to murder diabetics, eugenics, proctor and gamble, credit, racial science. His lyrics are aggressive and uncompromising, and his fans love him for it. My heart is blacker than the children of Thomas Jefferson, blacker than back in the days of the tar and feathering. His third album, even even cracked the Billboard 200 chart, and his success will surely only build from there. This is the front line, this is the dead zone, barely alive or in a box inside your head home. Do you agree with our list? Which self-made wordsmiths do you bob your head to? For more independent top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The A to L to I, and I'm the goddamn shit show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>